The third installment of Paul Rudd's Scott Lang trilogy, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania, won't come as much of a surprise given that another MCU film strongly influenced the experience. The 2017 Marvel Studios film Thor, Ragnarok, left a lasting impression on the MCU fanbase. Not only did it introduce new characters and bring back beloved ones, but its bright color palette and comedic elements have impacted future films. Ant-Man 3, Quantum Mania, is set to be no exception. In Ant-Man and Wasp, Quantum Mania Ant-Man and the Wasp are investigating the quantum realm. They interact with strange new creatures and embark on an adventure that pushes them beyond what they thought was possible. The Ant-Man 3 is a Peyton Reed and Jeff Loveness production. When we started uh, formulating what the story was going to be for Ant-Man and the Wasp, we realized we're really making a, a sequel to two movies, uh, to Ant-Man and also to Captain America Civil War, because we couldn't ignore what had happened to Scott Lang in Civil War. Starring Paul Rudd, Evangeline Lilly, Jonathan Majors, Catherine Newton, Michelle Pfeiffer, and Michael Douglas. Kevin Feige and Steven Broussard created it under the Marvel Studios production label. Comic-Con for me is, is an amazing tradition that is always nerve-wracking and uh, stress-inducing, and in this case, also extremely emotional. It's been three years since we have been here. And Walt Disney Studios will handle the distribution of the movie. According to Paul Rudd, the next Ant-Man and the Wasp movie was inspired by Thor Ragnarok. We haven't started shooting or anything, so this is kind of the first experience I had even surrounded by it. And it's, it, it's my son, Michael Douglas. He said it is, for the first time, you really do feel like it is a family, like this, this kind of... Ragnarok is renowned for blazing a new path for movies, focusing on one central hero and embracing an entirely new tone. The significant change with Ragnarok was that it accepted the fun and absurdity of an Asgardian warrior teaming up with the Hulk on a different planet, and Thor continued to embrace this side of him in his last MCU appearances. With that sequel arguably completely reviving interest in the Asgardian, other solo series like the Iron Man and Captain America films found ways to deviate from their predecessors in exciting ways. The first movie in Phase 5 of the MCU, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, is anticipated to start a new overarching narrative that will span numerous films, MCU TV shows, and years. They're introducing Kang the Conqueror, Jonathan Majors, as the MCU's next primary antagonist following Thanos' destruction in Avengers Endgame. Uh, two a day sometimes, three a day sometimes, you know. Um, I, look, I look at the... I think we gotta stay, I mean, talk, let's just talk about the folks. I think we gotta stay healthy, you know? Um. After becoming stuck in the quantum realm due to a terrible accident, Ant-Man the Wasp and the rest of the Ant-Man crew will meet the deadly antagonist. Even though this is the third Ant-Man movie, Quantum Mania may mark the start of the MCU's next primary phase. The upcoming Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania film will be quite different. Unlike the Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania, the previous films had all been lighter affairs with generous helpings of humor. The movie's starting to resemble a high-stakes Avengers blockbuster more than a usual Ant-Man film. Film. The teaser of the film reveals the hero's desperation to imprison Kang. In an interview with Empire Magazine, Rudd claimed that Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania was motivated by Thor Ragnarok. The film's radical shift in tone had persuaded them to try the novel and unheard of Ant-Man tone. He stated, But we kept talking during the process. I kept thinking about Thor Ragnarok, where it was like, whoa, we can't believe this is the third one. It seems so different. Adding, something was appealing about doing something unexpected. Director Peyton Reed said, that they wanted to pivot into something on a much larger canvas for the upcoming threequel. We wanted to pivot into something on a much larger canvas and also that went darker than you might expect. The movie's writer, Jeff Loveness, compares the whole event to an Avengers movie. The first discussion we had was, what if Ant-Man is accidentally in an Avengers movie by himself? Michael Douglas, Rudd's Ant-Man co-star, commented that he could tell there was a change in tone from the series due to how beat up Rudd would be at the closing of each day of filming. I'd see Paul at the end of the day, how beat up he was, how sore he was. There's a tougher tone on this one. It's alarming that a hero like Ant-Man, who is by no means a hard hitter, must battle Kang the Conqueror because he is positioning himself to be a multiversal menace. However, Kang is linked to members of the Ant-Man squad, much like Hela from Thor Ragnarok has a personal relationship with Thor and Loki. Kang and Janet Van Dyne has a past relationship dating to when Janet lived in the Quantum Realm. Kang may have already encountered Scott Lang, given that he has been imprisoned in the 
quantum realm for some time, yet Ant-Man seems to need to remember their encounter. Kang and Hela share a threat level regarding how deadly they are, as both Thor and Ant-Man acknowledge that they cannot defeat their opponents one-on-one, -on -one, let alone as a team. Thor and Loki will need to openly destroy Asgard to defeat Hela, as the goddess cannot lose. Ant-Man will also need to take extraordinary measures to guarantee that Kang does not escape the quantum realm, a crucial Kang story piece that the teaser divulged. The similarities to Thor Ragnarok is there from the trailer alone, with Ant-Man pledging to lose solely to prevent Kang from triumphing. Amazingly, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the MCU, is still flexible after 30 movies and many streaming shows. Ragnarok was a turning point for the series by demonstrating that not every hero of individual franchise within the MCU has to be one thing. The Ant-Man 3 team and Peyton Reed could have sat back and made another Edgar Wright-style comedy for Quantum Mania, but they chose not to. They decided to build something bigger instead, something deserving of the entrance of Kang the Conqueror. These most recent statements are in keeping with the pattern of the movie's producers advocating for its dark and tough storyline. That does not mean there won't be any laughter in the at most fam's recent journey. Bill Murray and other comedic greats are still included in the MCU blockbuster. However, viewers can anticipate a movie that will take the Ant-Man concept to new heights. It was announced that Disney Plus would use notable Marvel Studios Legends episodes to raise anticipation for the debut of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania as marketing for the film picks up. Before the debut of a new project, Marvel has a habit of releasing episodes of Marvel Studios Legends. These episodes recount the events of the main character's previous appearances and relive their journey through the MCU. The two most recent MCU films were Black Panther Wakanda Forever and the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. Episodes of Legends were released ahead of time, allowing fans to catch up on Shuri, Koye, Drax, and Mantis's earlier exploits. It's Ant-Man 3's turn right now. Confirmed by Disney+, Plus, three Marvel Studios Legends episodes will be released on the streaming platform on Friday, February 10th, before Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. The three episodes, Ant-Man, Wasp, and Hank and Janet, recap the Marvel Cinematic Universe, MCU, adventures of Scott Lang, Hope Van Dyne, Hank Pym, and Janet Van Dyne. Since Marvel typically releases special Legends episodes a week before the launching of a new project, the episode's release date is consistent with previous premieres. Following an outcry from viewers over a previous Marvel Studios Legends episode that revealed a crucial plot detail from the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special, Disney Plus removed the installment from its streaming service. These next Ant-Man 3 related Legends episodes will probably not spoil the Paul Rudd starring threequel. It suggests that Marvel and Disney Plus learned from that earlier blunder. Given that Janet Van Dyne, the former Wasp, received less screen time in the Infinity Saga. This could explain why Hank Pym and Janet Pym's summaries are condensed into a single episode. As a result, Disney Plus will not be able to repurpose a deleted sequence that would reveal Janet's past in the quantum realm. The highly anticipated third installment of the Marvel Cinematic Universe's Ant-Man franchise, Quantum Mania, will surely be a hit with fans.